friends welcome back we just saw the gameplay trailer for ghostface they look absolutely insane we saw some pretty crazy stuff man like like so like 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 they were like taking character moves like i don't know how to explain it but here we go man let's get on with the rest of this combat cast let's see what these new moves are that we that we saw so ghostface as you can see here will be available the 19th so that's literally what next week give or take so no, here we go, man. Let's get back into it. Let's get back. Let's just skip a bit. Oh, too, too far. There we go. There it is. Ghostface. Insane. Like, so many iconic moments from the history of that character. I mean, Roger Jackson's incredible voice. The, I love the fatality being fourth wall meta, which is, you know, always been one of the hallmarks of the series. The, the great animations on all the grabs and everything. It's... The crawl, the knife, <laughs> yeah. just so many amazing. Yeah, that Rambo just, crawl, that was pretty iconic sick. Iconic for right. in that little three and a half minute chunk. Really cool. And you're all going to love playing Ghostface, and we're going to talk about Ghostface later in the show. But before we do that, we're okay. going to talk about some That's things some that are coming with the release of Ghostface. And one of those is we have some new season notes. Uh, Scorpion is back. Yes, the season of the Spectre. But oh, what? new things we're adding to it. Yeah, so this time around with the season of the Spectre, we're updating encounters that will have some newer mini games. Here's a big one. Oh, we're getting Since Scorpion again? No longer consumable items, but they stack. So all the hey, that's like that's, that's what I like to know. Keys, Same. You're gonna have space. Okay, the keys uh, is really good. Exclusive skins to unlock. But man, really, we're getting the season of the Spectre again. We're getting season one again. So damn, they just. I don't know what the hell. Because, granted, I know everybody got their Order of Darkness skin, but it would have been cool if we had, a, you know, a dedicated season to them, man. You know? Like, obviously, for me, I would love to have all of Katana's color palettes for her Order of Darkness skin, you know? And I believe at the current moment, there actually is one in the, um, in the Race Against Time, so I'm, I'm definitely doing that, obviously. But it's like, I have yet to see her gold or silver one. Uh, you know, like obviously characters like Kenshi, Smoke, that they, they only got their gold and silver versions of theirs. Uh, Quan Chi, Shang Tsung, like, uh, I mean, I, I would say Sindel, but they literally gave us Sindel's like legit like launch game. So I'm trying to think of like another character. Uh, well, we got we already had Raiden, we already got Natara, we got Garrus through his like what's it called. Like I like the tie-in battles are cool because like either like that's what I like they kind of they had their characters had their own season but then they had like the the tie-in battles that they had and the fact that some characters that actually didn't even get a season or a tie-in battle is kind of a I don't know man, that's a that's another thing that Anaros kind of dropped the ball ball on man you know so a little disappointing but we'll see we'll see we'll see when you know uh, the nineteen drops around especially at what one highly requested. Natara skin will be somewhere in the season. Uh, players can also unlock season one combat league palettes throughout the season one of invasions. Uh, we've also added some new character relics to give. Already had of all those, so moves. yeah, a little disappointing. New cashew. Oh, cashew. Okay, some new cashew stuff. Uh, another thing that's coming very soon is a thing, a, 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 fu a feature that I'm excited about that's going to help players from all levels grow, and it's a replay takeover function. It's a function where You'll be able to play a match, watch the video of that match, stop that match where you want to, and take over either character. Right. So, what? we play online. Mm -hmm. You beat me pretty bad. You do some setup that I've never even lot. seen before. It's, it's crazy. I mean, yeah. So I can go to the replay and actually take control after that setup you used and kind of try different options. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah. So, Cyrax, bomb setups on Reiko. Bombs and goo. What are you gonna do? Well, what the hell? Takeover. You just take over. You're now Reiko. You're gonna get out of this setup. So what's the first thing you try to do? Probably block. Always try to block. Nope. Command grab. So that's not gonna work. Now maybe you try. This is to sick, block. actually. All right. Not still, still nope. stuck in, in in the blender. Still got the bomb. Now let's neutral. Okay, that that'd be usually one of my go-to. Enhance bomb get you. Then, dude, this is actually fucking insane. Mash. Mash very, very hard. And mashing doesn't work. 
Well, surely there's something. Now let's try jumping out of the corner. And there you go. Misses the command grab. Hits their own fatal blow. Insert. Dude, this is insane. Does, does any other fighting game do this? I don't think so. Is NRS like the first fighting game you can actually do this? That That's insane. Can work and teach you how to play. So what essentially this is, you can go to any match, right? That you played. Now say you were in combat league and you, I don't know, you're fighting a, what's a pretty obnoxious team? Like a, like Homelander Farah. Say you're fighting Homelander Farah and they're doing something that you just you just keep getting hit by. And you're just like, okay, let me let me go to this replay. I don't know, like download it or something like that. Then go into this replay takeover. And then, you know, as my character, I try to find ways to get out of this setup. That's insane, dude. <laughs> that's that's actually fucking insane. Because this helps if you're like, if you're really struggling against the character, like say for me, I well, like, for me, I hate fighting against Rain because Rain, like his back three is like plus on block is like, yeah, it's like plus on block or something like that. And his cancels are like insane. So I could just go back into like a fight I had with like a Rain player, you know, in, in the middle of them doing like that whole little like, you know, their whole pressure string. I try to find a way to get out of that. That's pretty fucking that's insane when you think about it, man. Like, I'm pretty sure Anor this is the only fighting game that has its functionality. Right? I mean, I mean, comment down below if there is, like, I don't know, some obscure game from, like, 2003 that has this ability or, like, this, like, mechanic. Or function, I should say. That, dude, this is insane, bro. This is fucking cool. This is really One of the cool. That's challenging about fighting games is you might fight someone, maybe it's in a combat league, maybe it's an actual tournament, and they, you know, they defeat you with this strategy you've never seen before, and maybe they're not available to play casuals, or maybe right. they don't want to help you. Maybe they're like, I'm not sharing my strats, save that for nationals. <laughs> so, what you can do is actually save that for grands, replay, as Punk says. <laughs> take control of it. You can look at the options without having to get help from other people. And it's also not even about like trying to get out of setups you can also could i have done something different on this combo to end this round because you know you're in a certain situation i've had moments like that where i could have killed would this have helped more? but uh i say i didn't i don't kill all the time i don't execute the the combo properly and i think this will be awesome like you said all skill levels people who are already good because there's times where i'm playing a match is like a match and like i have like the final combo to win the match and i do something that doesn't kill them i'm like i and like after that i'm like i know what i could have done to kill them you know so that, that's also pretty cool the curve of good to bad not bad but you know newer players even things small things like punish timings oh exactly like right. even the easiest like special move how do i punish this try it over and over and over again right you're fighting a smoke player they're really killing you with that teleport mm -hmm. you're making the right guess but you're not sure what to do after it right this can help and you can pick just different parts of the match where you were like ah, if i would have done a little something different what is that different? You can now find out. It's very neat to say, you know, how advanced these things are to help people. You know, mm. back in my day, <laughs> you know, back in the 1970s, we didn't even have frame data. <laughs> we were just guessing. We were just making it up. If you only had this. Right. Um, so we also, before we get on to the main event of, you're going to show everyone how to play Ghost. Ghost That's Ghost. an insane feature, uh, dude. We're going to talk about some balance uh, stuff. And I know that people love these new videos are we destroying Ken is Kenshi dead is Johnny dead that I think people are gonna be really excited to hear have some very cool changes coming. is Katana buffed please <laughs> you know, heavily requested yes. like, please touch my character give me something new to play with right so Katana. I um, got my notes here and we're going to I'm gonna talk about it before we show the video so you can kind of get an eagle eye on what we're talking about you're gonna see because some of these videos have multiple pieces and there might be a sneak peek of some new skins. Possibly. Ooh, nice. Uh, Love me some new skins. Uh, Ooh, Asha. moves can now swap stances by holding stance switch. So you're able more quickly to switch in a... That's an insane buff. Uh, That's an insane buff. So, like, say if Ashra does, you know, like the, uh, like the little light beam. If you hold down the attack button, she could switch into dark stance and vice versa. 
Yo, okay, okay. I might, I might have to clean up my Ashra. I might have to shake off the rust off my Ashra. In this also, the Frost Cameo can use her Ooh. Ice Crash and explode her own Frost Wall to launch the opponent. I also think it'd be what? looking at up blocking. Wait, 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 wait. What did he say? The hell? Oh. Wall to launch. Frost Cameo can use her Ice Crash and explode her own Frost Wall to launch the opponent. So what they're saying is if you have the wall up, the frost wall up, and you're in the middle of a combo, and then you do the move where she like slams down on the ground, that explodes the wall into a fucking combo starter? That's insane. Or to a launcher? That's fucking cool. I gotta see that, dude. Hold on. I also think it'd be worth looking at up blocking Cyrax's back too, because there's something unique about the second hit. And you're gonna see that. Cyrax's back right too. Now. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's so sick! That's so sick. I wonder what I could give with that with a. Uh, wonder what I could get with Katana. There. Wait. Okay. Wait. So wait. What happens with her up block? It's just if you up blocked her normally. Oh, okay. Because I've never up blocked uh, Cyrax's overhead. I'm assuming that if you up block it, she still gets the bomb detonation, but here they have it to where it doesn't detonate. Okay. I'm assuming that's what's they're showing off, but this is pretty sick for, for, uh, for uh, Asha. Look at this. Dude, that's so cool. Oh man, Asha's about to be insane. Some awesome changes for Asha and the other characters as well. Sorry, there's a fly in my uh, face. Giving Asha a little more but the frost wall was insane. Right, I think one of the cool things our design team's done with MK1 is the balance changes aren't necessary. Oh, dude, I cannot wait to test that out with Katana, bro. Or a bad character, good. Also, how can we kind of tinker with the game balance to just more tools, more fun, mm -hmm. more player expression? Because I've already have an yeah. combo idea I want to do with uh, with Katana so Frost, man. Oh, yeah, we'll be talking about, oh, yeah, we talk about really smoke cool here in a bit, that. too. Uh, let's go on to Garrus, though. Ooh, Garrus, Garrus now his enhanced command grab allows for cameo follow-ups anywhere on the screen. Um, be a lot easier to understand if you just take a look here. No fucking way, bro! Like this character's on a menace already. That was Garrus so really cool. Is. Right. Uh, here's a good one. Serena. We got some changes for Serena. Now, okay. Is, Serena. You guys really watch this video. Let me explain. Nerf or buff. So Serena has a new rune, which grants damage buff and super meter regen over time when you're in it. So in this video, okay. you're going to see Quan do a breaker, then an EX move shortly thereafter because he's in Serena's new rune. So that's like four bars of super meter in like five seconds. We'll take a look. How fast do you regenerate that? <gasps> is that fucking MK2 Katana? No fucking way! Yo, that's MK2 Katana! Five seconds. We'll take a look. Yo, look at that! What the fuck? Oh come on, man! I wish the 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 quality was a lot better. It's not important. We got MK2 Katana again. Let's fucking go! Let's go. Okay, so he breaks. Oh, that's sick. That was cool. Excellent. So okay, so Serena, she's just, you know, she's doing her fucking thing while you're just spamming fucking... What's it called? God damn, bro. Don't let Reiko players pick her up, because that's just about to be the most annoying shit you've ever played in your life. <laughs> Constant offense. More and more EX moves. It, it really helps you pass the bar exam. I liked it. Dude, liked MK2 it. Uh, Katana! We've heard from Smoke fans. Smoke fan fans want, they want something new, something new to play with. And I think you're gonna oh be God. really excited about Like, this. Smoke's already annoying uh, as fuck already. QA, it really changes up how the character plays quite a bit. Uh, Smoke can now perform his Vicious Vapors, back forward three, Smoke Dash, in the air, which lets him combo off some moves he never could before, and the extent, the enhanced version, pardon me, uh, will restand the opponent. Oh, you're God. you see in this video, you're gonna see Homelander, his forward four now hits mid. Just some more stuff for four. Homelander and especially for Smoke. Oh, that's Smoke his low. They nerfed his low. It's. Oh, 
Oh, that's insane. Bro, like, Smoke is not already fucking annoying as it is. They made him the most annoying character in the fucking game, dog. Uh, finally, another character that we get a lot of, we hear a lot about, vocal community, which is Sub Zero. Uh, Sub Zero. Oh, Sub Zero buffs? Clone now allows him to perform multiple freezes in one combo. Uh, Sub Zero Slide also now switches sides always, which allows for cameo follow ups or to pop them up into clones. You can also perform the Old Spear follow ups by holding three as you do the slide. A lot of, old a lot Spear? Of, a lot of words there. Basically, big combo opportunity. Yes. And let's take a look at those. Damn, no, nothing for Katana, unfortunately. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. That was pretty sick. New frozen toys for Sub Zero to play with. Right, and now they can chill out. Okay, that's three. For, you're three for three. I gotta say. Um, so those are some of the balance patches. We will have some balance patch notes coming coming very soon. Pay attention to social media, and you'll be able. Katana to Katana fans, bro, we gotta we gotta, we gotta start we gotta start complaining on Twitter, bro. We need our girl to get buffed. For, obviously. Right. Hell, no we clue. Ghostface. Oh, here we go, ladies and gents. Got Ghostface. Who is a Ghostface player? Ghostface player. How does Ghostface play? I would describe Ghostface as kind of a jack of all trades because one of the key things about Ghostface from the Scream movies is there's always more than one. Jack. With the exception of Roman from the very underrated Scream Three, they Spoilers. always. That movie's 20 years old, but they always work as a group sometimes, too. There's been three, and in this game, there's actually three. There's the original Ghostface killer from the movies. He's been transported to Liu Kang's timeline. He doesn't have his partner. He decides to recruit true two members of the Black Dragon clan to help what? him out, and they are the alternate Ghostface. So he's kind of a character that's like almost... So wait, the other two... The other two fucking members, or the other two Ghostface, are fucking Black Dragon members? What the fuck? That's actually super cool. Okay, so there goes my theory of like the the characters being from the from the roster, but that's actually really cool, man. One, and um, that involves zoning moves, um, some really strong grappling moves. Dog, imagine getting zoned out by Ghostface. Moves that hit the opponent from behind long range command grabs all kind of neat options all tied to his ability to work together and to switch in and out jack of all trades right all right you want to take a look so let's go in let's start with the original ghost face killer the the default the one that you're going to play as let's see how he works oh so yeah so you can switch out between three ghost face that's pretty cool so you have the original you have the scorpion kick one and then the one that does like the melina purple smoke shit all right, so before we get any kind of swapping, let's go over the default Ghostface. Okay, so Ghostface has a default Ghost thousand health. Here. He's been moved to this timeline. He's ready to get some new, fresh victims, and let's check it out. As you can imagine, he fights with a knife, which means a lot of his attacks are pretty quick and have real good range. I love his standing too. He's got a little low attack version there. This is one of my favorites. Reet, reet, reet. Psycho stabs, just four, four, four. It's super fun to do, and I love how it looks. One of his best normals is his forward two. It's like a oh quick god, look how mid. fucking nice range. Exactly. In the nooch. You can <laughs> you can hit confirm into special moves. It's kind of like his main footsie's tool. Um, his back three is a very quick. Mid. Oh no, bro. Movado might be a good one for him. His uppercut. Because. The thing with those type of fucking sweeps, the two characters that have them, they excel very well with Movado. Obviously, that being Reptile and Havoc. Look at this shit, dude. Look at this. Huh? Like, look at that, bro. That's like, like, that's like legit Havoc's fucking like string, dude. Like, okay, insane. Very quick mid. You can go into this drop kick, which is also his sweep. His Dude, yeah, it, no, Movado might be a, a good pick for him. Just off that, just off of that button alone is, uh, you, I'm already having Movado be one of his uh, one of his cameos. A, a huge range because of his knife. And then lastly, I'd love to show Ford Four, which is this combo oh. starter. 
And he can also do it four. from the 2-2. Two, two. So it's 2-2, two, two, 1 plus 3, and he yanks him over. So a pretty basic set of normals that have long range. You know, not a lot of tricks and traps or, or really uh, fancy stuff, but, you know. But that's pretty coming. Good speed. Yeah. <laughs> But his normals are pretty pretty easy to understand, right. pretty straightforward. So let's go into his special moves. And again, these are the special moves that, you know, when you first go into the match... You Dude, he looks so good. good. I love the way his like, robes, like, like they just, like, t death. like, toss with the wind. Oh, that's his command grab. Brutal animation. You can hold back to throw them the opposite direction. Could that throw be any more brutal? Yes, it could. Yes, it certainly oh. could. God, that end there. Let's watch that again. Mm -hmm. The way, like, the struggle to have it go all the way through. He is a nasty, violent character. Oh, what the hell he is that? He also has this dive move. It's down forward four. And Tug, it's a Rambo. On the ground. And from there, he has a quick slash attack. Yep, like Rambo. This toe stab, which I absolutely love. And that has um, an enhanced version where for two bars... He can actually uh, pin, pin you down. The what the fuck? It's and a restand from that? That's so cool. The dive has armor. That's his only armor move besides his fatal blow. So you can you can take a move, exactly. lay on the ground, start and then doing go your... into the options, yep. right? And he can also crawl forward, as you saw in the trailer, or stand back up. Another move I like to show, and this is by far my favorite animation, maybe in the whole game. Oh. I think this animation oh, really okay. captures the character. Down four three. A command hey, line. he's got a command dash. Let's go. You then have multiple options to do from nice. There. So you can do this quick slice, which is like your fast I wonder if the action. cancels are really good on that because I know back in MK11, uh, I, I'm trying to think like Melina had her condom dash, that was kind of trash. Robocop had his like his uh, reactive stance, which was pretty cool because you could do forward and back on that, which was nice. Uh, Shiva, hers was pretty nasty as well. Um, I know Aaron Black had like a similar, it wasn't really a dash, it was more of a just like, like a walk forward. Um, uh, fuck, who's the other characters like in my head right now? Cabal, Cabal kind of had one, something like that, but it's more of a can dash cancel than like I'm actually like running. Uh, so hopefully, this is like really fucking good. Cause that would make Ghostface just insane. Then he also has an overhead. That's definitely unblockable. Slower. And he can do the dive from it. Oh, okay. And he can actually do his command grab from it. In fact, most special moves he can do from it. So, like a, like a horror character, it's terrifying when he's running at you because exactly of the options. Exactly, right. You want to block because of the quick attacks. But if you're blocking, he can go into the father death grab. Right. Uh, uh. Or he can go into the dive. He also has an enhanced version of the run, which gives him enhanced version of the moves from it. For example, oh. it's an honor. <laughs> and then an enhanced version of this. And he can do a double enhanced of enhanced run into the enhanced dive. I think one mm, thing I don't know if you want to waste two bars on that. A lot of meter do is most effective. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a meter hungry boy. Which means that Serena might be a good pick for him too. Yeah, so when you said like, uh, you know, Master, you know, has a lot of tricks. Right. Still got to keep that in mind. Yeah, one of the consequences is you're going to be wanting to look at your meter man. Then he has another special move, the backstage pass. So what happens is he leaves the screen and comes back around. Because just when you think you've, you know, escaped him, he somehow appears behind you, just like any slasher should. And this move has a couple of options. You can hold back, and it'll actually just come back around. <laughs> That's funny. Or you can hold the button, and he won't do the attack when he comes around. So you can, like, the I like Terminator. Of the no mix up, mix up. Mm -hmm. They're staggered, like, his back throw. Who picks throw the knife back up? Is pretty cool. And finally, the last kind of uh, default movie has is Phone Call, where he pulls out this 90s phone. Another ghost face pops up from behind, slashes them in the back. The brick phone, I love it's, it. It's amazing. Mm, that, that's a good like anti uh, zoning you can tool. Hold it, and the killer will wait, and you can either that was let cool. it go, or you can do the slash. You can hold it. Delay the slash. 
and then do an uppercut to go into a combo, or another one of these amazing animations. You can EX it, and the move transforms into a command grab. Oh, oh that's so cool. That's going to be a sick like brutality. That. So, that is kind of the base moveset that the original Ghostface killer has. Let's start talking about the way you swap into the other two killers. Okay. All right. So no, okay, that was okay, that was that was crazy. Dude, just Ghostface by himself is fucking cool, man. He's got really good shit going on, dude. He's got the command dash, he's got a command grab. He's got really good starters man like yo ghostface is, is gonna be really sick to play man really sick to play all right so now we're gonna figure out how to summon the other two ghostface talk about killer swaps ghostface does not act alone usually and <sighs> in the game the original apologies ghostface from woodsboro has recruited two members of kano's black dragon we're gonna call them the black dragon enforcer and the black dragon assassin now Enforcer and Assassin. Okay. I know who they are. You know who they are. But one of the fun things about Scream is the who done it aspect. You shouldn't figure out who the killer is till the third act reveal. So for this stream, we're not going to name any names. It's up to you to look at the clues, the Easter eggs, and maybe try to figure it out. For well, yourself. I mean, to be fair, if we already, if you say Black Dragon, you can just go into the Black Dragon like roster and think who's there. You have Aaron Black, definitely wasn't there. Uh, Kano, he's already a cameo. Cabal, nowhere to be seen. Uh, that leaves Kira and Cobra, who haven't been around for like goddamn almost a decade. More than that. They haven't been around since Armageddon. I think Su Hao was considered Black Dragon. I think he was. I think he is. So, I mean, and I get Tremor also is Black Dragon, but he's also a cameo here as well. So, through the process of elimination, it's either, you know, Suhao, Kira, Cobra, and maybe Cabal. Who knows? <laughs> Argue amongst yourselves, spread your theories, but all three, we're not going to say here. Love it. I think that would be very much against the spirit of Scream. So, let's go into how killer swapping works. All right, so there are three ways that you can swap your killer. The first and most straightforward is his throw. Here's his regular throw. I didn't do anything. I just hit throw. Love the way he picks up that knife. Now, if you hold L1 or L2 when throwing, you will swap killers. Oh, this such a sick throw. Black Dragon Enforcer. Oh yeah, look at that. You could like the knife changes too. That's so sick. So you could so you could tell which uh which version of Ghostface you're playing. So cuz Ghostface has like the more traditional like um like I guess Bowie knife type looking blade. And then this one is more of like a, not like a Kukri style this blade. As the Black Dragon. No, I, I'd say it's more of a Kukri style blade. That's pretty sick. Enforcer. For 12 seconds, I'll be the Black Dragon Enforcer. Oh, for 12 seconds. And then he's gonna swap out. Or I can hold L2. You can see the red flash and the different knife. Okay, and the different and knife. The this is the assassin. assassin. Yeah, the, look at the knife. It's so sick. Here. The other two options are after backstage pass. So that's the move we talked about. You can hold L1, and he'll come back in as the Black Dragon Enforcer. Or you can do the other options, like you can exit, hold L2, and I'm the Black Dragon Assassin. And then lastly is phone call. Same buttons hold, and instead of doing the attack, they come in as the other killer. You can also do it off the EX version. So I'm gonna hold L1 this whole time. And you can see the swap. Sick, so dude. So is, sick. This could be pretty chaotic in gameplay for the opponent. Just like the movies, mm -hmm. you're not gonna you know, you might not know which one is which unless you're really looking. Or did he? Did I see the flash? Do they right. have me like it's, watching their meter is probably important in that exactly. Okay, so I'm sorry to pause it here, but it looks like you can only have the other two ghost face out for approximately 12 seconds on screen. Obviously, that's gonna reset every time you call them in, but so you can't just switch to them and then play as them for the rest of the game. So it really, okay, that's pretty sick. So it's like, it's almost like a, it's like you're playing Chameleon and Tremor, but you're actually just playing, you're playable, you know, the characters are playable themselves. So 
that's pretty cool so you can do like a lot of like mix up here that's that's really cool because you could go from normal default ghost face to the enforcer back to default and then back to enforcer or you can switch up and you go default enforcer default assassin or it, it's pretty good so you do a whole there's a whole like little ring around the rose you can go around with that you know there's like a, a nice little different mix-ups you can go into that because obviously enforcer is going to have their own moves and assassin is going to have their own moves so let's see what those are too so now let's talk about when you're swapped there's two ways to go back to the original ghost face killer one is what we've seen about a 12 second timer the other is if you're attacked so i'm going to throw you i'm going to become the enforcer and then you're going to uppercut me and take the what the hell it does not react and then the original comes in that even means, you know, you can't really be comboed. So, for example, I'm going to be the assassin. You're going to do the classic harpoon. You're going to tell me to get over here. Except I'm not. I'm going to stay over here. Can you punish Scorpion like that? Now, again, you do take damage. So, for one bar, it's almost like okay. you have a shield. So, it's like, it's like when your cameo gets hit, you take a little bit of damage. It's the same thing here with the uh, other two ghost phase. Maybe, you know, you won't be able to do a combo breaker. But you won't be put in combos because you're not reacting. Still gonna take a touch of damage, though. Right, but not a full combo. And again, you also have the 12 second countdown. So now let's talk about their moveset when they've swapped. Real quick, might be nice at the end of a round, dude, if you're almost losing, switching out, and like you have, that might be your, your last effort. Exactly. Or the opposite, you have a pretty big lead, mm. and you kinda, it's kind of like an insurance policy. Right. So let's talk about their separate moves, uh, special move sets. Sure. And to do that, I'm going to use a training mode option where you can swap, so I don't have to keep going back. Oh, that's cool. Me. But just to be clear, I'm going to be doing a practice reset, and I'll be starting as the Enforcer Assassin, and that's just for the strength. Normally, you have to use the bar meter to uh, switch. Right. So now you can see I've reset, and I'm the Black Dragon Enforcer. I got the blue aura. I got the cool big ol' knife, and I'm going to go into his moves. First thing is he has a new strength. Both extra killers have one new strength. Okay. In addition they got to the overhead low. Set that we showed. So this is two, one, four. He also has a shoulder check. Not quite full screen. That's kind of the max range in here. Can you meet over that? Is safe yep. on block, so it's kind of great to get in. Okay. Them, make them block in the neutral. Also, a Rekka. Series of three special. Oh, the Rekka. He's got a Rekka. You can use that for a uh, strike throw mix ups. And the EX version allows you to go into combo. That fucking pop-up was insane. And then lastly, Black Dragon Enforcer has this windmill kick. And if the EX it... Dude, that's Cobra. Big old combo that's some Cobra shit. That's definitely Cobra. So the Black Come Dragon on now. Enforcer to me is going to be a pretty straightforward uh, combo character. You know, you got combo extender. Which is pretty cool because, on. you know, we haven't seen Cobra in since armageddon dude how many like that's like that's like a decade and some change dude Pressure, you know just a close melee character that's gonna add to ghost face offense and and probably some of the best combo starters now let's talk about black dragon assassin so i'm gonna switch to her i love this, this new her kira it's kira oh, it's okay so stephanie kind of fucked up there it's kira it's kira Two black dragons, one of the, and Kira's the only female black dragon we have ever had. It's Kira. So it's Kira and Cobra. That's, that's fucking sick. That's sick. That's so cool. We haven't seen them since Armageddon. I guess I think the last time we've seen them was in the Snowblind movie, but we haven't seen them as actual characters in game, bro. So that, that's cool. I think Stephanie kind of slipped up there. Put on, yeah, the different things so the there you see red knife, different design on the knife. And they have... A knife toss, including an oh, knife toss. Oh shit! See, it is very quick. You can also hold it, fake it out. Oh, what the fuck! Knife advanced. throw cancels is insane. Throw two. Also, classic black dragon. The black dragon cannonball. E exit. You get this great animation. Uh, 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 uh. They'll be feeling woozy after that. A bit a little woozy uh, here. A new strength. Butterfly knives. Swinging wildly, they're crazy. They're a psychopath. Uh -uh. And then, bro, with Movado there, which is this uh, poison mist, and it's a restand. Or if you ex it, it's a straight combo starter. 
hole. And I think so one of the cool. coolest things you can see with like that move is the ability to swap back and forth. Like here, I'm, I'm going to start as the original. So there you go. I can do backstage pass, turn into assassin, go into nightshade, and three bars. Really cool combo using two different. Mm, three bars for th basically 30, uh, 32%. Is cool, but definitely could be optimized. Cause, let's see. Let me let me watch that again. So, I will say that's kind of the. I mean, it makes sense that you want them to to spend meter whenever you do switch, cause you know you're switching basically to a whole new character. But let's keep watching this. So, uh, uh, uh. And then uh, hold on. Nightshade, which is this uh, poison mist. And yeah, so Prism Mr. saw that. Four, Wait. Those things you can see with like that move is the ability to swap back and forth. Like here, so I'm, I'm going to start as the original. So there you go. Mm -mm. I can do backstage Kay. pass. Turn into assassin. Go into night. Meter burn. And three bars. That's in that, okay. Really cool That's not bad. Two That's not bad. Like, I, obviously, you don't have to end it in that ball roll or that like cannonball, essentially. You could do the... You can essentially spend two meter or just like one uh because i'm because stephanie did say that the normal like mist uh is a restand so it's not bad you can restand your opponent switch back to normal so you don't have to spend all three bars for only 33 percent you know or uh 32 percent and i'm back so i think the way that i think of ghost face is the original ghost face the default one is totally meant to be a complete character that you could just learn and master. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. That's the pizza. And the assassin and the enforcer are the toppings. Got it. And they could add, you know, you saw with the knife toss, a zoning tool. You saw with the recas, a pressure tool. But what if there was a way that all three could actually attack at once? Wouldn't that be great? I mean, impossible. No, well, the, fatal the fatal blow. blow. Hey, that... that that tan is no joke. It kills Steven Stone. Oh, the knife toss is insane. Oh, that fatal blow is just wicked, dude. That's got to be one of the nastiest cuts in the game. I yeah, that I definitely know. one of the. Oh, that's probably one of the more gruesome fatal blows. Ghostface. That is Ghostface. Yeah, no, and dude. I'm so excited for people to play him. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm, hyped. I'm super hyped. I'm super hyped. Cooler characters in the game. I, I definitely gonna try and master that character. You'll be able to play him very, very soon in Mortal Kombat One. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today's stream. But Wasn't that enough? That that, that was great. I, I had a great time with you. Um, can we have Derek back on the couch as well at some point? But thank you so much for joining us. And of course, before we leave, we're gonna show you a video that QA has put together that involves. Ooh, apologies. As always, thanks for the, the QA boys. We're trying not to yawn into together. the uh, microphone always here. Good All right, here we go. QR match, baby. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. And we will see you next time on the Combat Cast. With Conan the Barbarian. Wuxi Academy. Scary movies have made you a psycho. Oh, uh, we already seen this movies one. Movies don't make psychos. They make psychos more creative. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The fucking sack of potato ragdoll. Okay, they're rocking the Sonya cameo here. Let's see what they can do with a uh, Ghostface Sonya. Okay, they switched to the Assassin. Sorry, hold on. Sorry. I just want to say that real quick. Uh, uh. Wipes the knife. I think it is. I can't tell. Oh, that was sick. That was a really cool fucking conversion there. Wow, that range was insane. Oh, what the hell? Okay. 
Okay. Remember the script, Smoke. You're supposed to lose this. <laughs> He's going off script. Oh, what a pickup. Swiping the fucking knees. Jump the overhead. Command grab. Okay, they called a uh, enforcer. Yeah, you can really see the effect of when they get hit. They just disappear. Bro, the fact they can now cancel out of his uh, out of that that fucking string is insane. Okay, call it out Enforcer again. Hit him with the Wrecker. Okay, I see the I see the vision. I see the vision. Okay. Duck the grab. The resand's insane. God damn, this is about insane damage. Look at this shit. What the fuck? 43? That was cool. Oh, mashing on that. You're not supposed to do that. Damn, the pickup again. Okay. <laughs> oh, brutality. Oh, fuck. That's the command grab. Brutality. Ghost face weak. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. But oh man, that was that was insane, man. Ghostface looks insane, dude. Like, man, I think it's really good idea, like, at the start of a round to call in one of the other two, whether it's assassin or enforcer. So that way, when your opponent does something fucking negative on block and like they do a special move that's negative on block and they fucking, you know, they hit enforcer or assassin. So you get to still attack them while they're in their recovery frames is insane, bro. Ghostface looks insane. Like just normal base Ghostface is pretty fucking sick, man. The dash, the command grab, uh, yeah, the command dash, the command grab, some nice launchers, man. I'm telling you, bro, like just that sweep alone is like makes me want to try out Movado with Ghostface, you know, but then obviously we got Enforcer. He's got like the he's got the the, the Rekkas that you can go into kind of like a Takeda, uh, a brand new string, like two new buns. I think I either the special moves or buns. I didn't I didn't catch that where it's like the, the flip kick. And then I think it's like the like the basically the uh, flash kick. And then with the assassin, you have like the like the you know like the whirlwind attack with the daggers, but then has like the ball roll type situation, and then has the uh, the restand that dude. So yeah, it obviously was confirmed, or at least I'm confirming it that it's Kira and Cobra. You know, I mean, I think Steph accidentally gave it away when she said her about the assassin. So it's uh, it's obviously Kira because Kira is the only female black dragon. In existence, <laughs> you know, but I am super hyped to play Ghostface next week. You know, the nineteenth. I gotta see when that is. Let me, let me, let me do some. Uh, 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 uh. Let me look up my calendar. I'm just filling out the noise. Okay, that's gonna be a Tuesday. So, two, three, four, five, six days, man. Six days. Not even a full week. Six days, and we get obviously. If you're a um, pass holder, you will be getting Ghostface. Uh, early which is the 19th and then i don't know probably like a week or like a week after that you're gonna get uh like the normal people i guess i could say or the non-season pass holders will be getting ghost face but obviously i got chaos rain so i'm definitely gonna be getting ghost face 
So I can't wait to go online, man. Start just hacking and slashing with Ghostface, man. Unlocking that, uh, unlocking some masks and weapons. Ooh, I'm hyped. I'm super hyped, man. I'm super hyped. They did a really good job at Ghostface here, man. Again, I will say that they dropped the ball when it came to showing stuff off for Ghostface. You know, primarily, the, the, the I guess the biggest thing here that we saw, like, in the beginning was the um, gameplay trailer. Obviously, huge stumble, fumble, stumble, fumble, drop, whatever you want to say that NRS did here. But I think they kind of, I think they made it up for it a little bit, man, because the gameplay trailer was pretty sick. And what they showed off for Ghostface also is pretty sick, man. I, again, I cannot wait to just start playing that character because that character is going to be very intricate on in what you can do. You know, you could just go a whole match playing uh, like that. That's, a, that's actually kind of a mind game there when you think about it. You know, you can go a full round just playing normal ghost face. And then the next round you go like you switch between normal ghost face and enforcer. And like I said, the next game you just start off, you just switch to enforcer. You're going back between those, uh, those two. And then like the final round, like say in a rank set. Like it's like final match, final round, something like that. You break out assassin, you start doing shit on them that they haven't seen yet, bro. There's a lot of mind tricks that I'm like concocting in my mind when it comes to uh, when it comes to Ghostface. You know, we saw Sonya pick. Uh, didn't really see much with the Sonya there, kind of a, you know, kind of a waste there. But obviously, we saw, I, I, you know, that again that that just that back four sweep gives me Reptile and Havoc vibes. And again, those two excel very well with Movado with just that button alone. So. I know Ghostface is going to do pretty well with Movado, and the fact that they get a lot of like I guess launching type strings that they could uh, that you know they can go into Movado with. But obviously, you know, I, mean, I gotta try it out with Shujinko. I gotta try it out with the Shujinko. But <laughs> that's gonna be it for today's video, man. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy White Album. I will see you guys next time.